Okay, we're back on air. We're live in the Moose, the Medicine Show Radio Moose Mobile. I have a friend I'm going to introduce you to. We're in Perth uh, at the Institute, at the Tulloch Institute in Perth. Smashing gig last night over the Empowers. Uh, there is a whole day of ska happening here and they're getting ready inside. But uh, my good friend Kelly. Cor uh, Cormac decided Cormac. to come along and see me. Hi, Kelly. How's it going, Rob? Good. Good. It is. It's been, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've been on your travels a lot. You've been on, uh, yeah, but you've been out and about playing a bit as well. A wee, wee bit here now. You're mm. supposed to be in in Inverness last, last night, night, and the apologies had to go in for the roads, eh? I mean, the weather's killing everyone. It was three hours just to get to Dunkirk, so uh, it was impossible. Which is 45 minutes away normally. No, so that 15 minutes away. At 15, it's not even that fun. <laughs> so uh, apologies to everybody at the market bar last night. Kelly and Mikey uh, already did that. I think it was covered, though, eh? Yeah, yeah. Pat, Pat, Pat and Robin did, did it. Yeah, did it for cool. you. Yeah. Well, you'll be back at some point. I'm sure we will. Right. So a song. And then a I song. Want to, what I want to do is to explore the murky depths of your past. Right. Oh, no. Aye. As well. <laughs> your songwriting no. then we uh, then you can bring us all up to Kelly well this is quite a new song newish uh, Kelly McCormack yeah. yeah I come from Blair Gowrie so this uh, when I was a kid we used to used to go for runs in the car all the time yeah and my dad would always take us up to a dam that he helped build when he was a younger guy and it's called the Blackwater Dam right so it's I was up there a lot anyway loosely about that. Take me the back road out by black water up by your stone stone bury my dead island bones lay me to rest there Excellent. Kelly McCormack in the Moose. In the, I don't think you've been in here to do a session. Not for a yet. while. Oh, no, right, I don't need a session, no. I got left once. <laughs> <laughs> for you, but I remember. I can't even mind. Uh, <laughs> I can't even mind. 
You rescued me, if you we've, we've, had, uh, we've had one or two adventures along the way, you and I, uh, here and there. I'm going to touch on that. One famous, uh, one famous strawberry ground the Highlands of Scotland with the saw doctors. Yeah. I seem to remember. <laughs> at that time, you were you were thumping away at uh, the pop charts here and there at that time as well, weren't I you? I just kind of started because. Uh -huh. Um, We're going I, back. I, could, I, I broke my wrist, Aye. and I thought, right, I can write, I can play guitar, but I thought I never sang, I never like been any singer. Yeah. And I, I ended up losing a lot of business and everything, and I ended up back at my mum and dad's in Dornick. I'm like, this is <laughs> wow, you know, everything's gone again. Like, boom. And I broke oh, my wrist, man. and I, I bought Wildwood Paul Weller's album, and I thought. I can do that. Well, okay. Right. Right. Kinda. So I just started to write, try and write songs. And then I, my pal was up for London, Scott Rushbury, and Scott had worked in millions of studios and he yeah. made a name for himself in his rock thing. Right. And I miss him dearly. But he, uh, he, I said, I think I can write a song. <laughs> he laughed at me and I went to his house and we recorded a couple of things. And when I was recording it, he phoned the studio that he was working in in London. It was a Vaughn studio, and it was a big place, and he, he played, let Vaughn he, hear me over the phone. And he says, right, come down to London next week. So I did. <laughs> I got in the train, went to London with Turkey, and I signed a fucking quarter of a million pound deal. On the back of like not that. having a demo? Of nothing. <laughs> Didn't even have a demo. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> I mean, it's a different time, and there was people look, uh, out Aye. and about looking for songs and stuff more in those days, and they're willing to pay for it. Uh, but that's still got to be encouraging to loads of people that are just oh, it's possible getting uh, about. Absolutely, it's possible. But honestly, my mate, a phone, yeah, crackle, shit, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. And Vaughn's going, yeah, I like that, and he was Spanish. Yeah. And then next thing I know, sign a big deal, and I'm on a, a converted London bus tour in Spain. <laughs> Playing every that's, single that's week. right. It was the, <laughs> that was the young ones. It was, that, it was the not so young not ones. The young ones, uh, <laughs> thirty four or something at the time. Aye, aye, aye. But aye. it was an experience, and we were on radio. It was guaranteed because we were sponsored by Rate Cadena CN, aye. and they're like a big station. But aye. you had to play, aye. you know. And to get that, I had to go to Fingerola and sit in front of 36 DJs that were all the, from every major DJ from every uh, station they had. Aye. And convince them that I was all right to, just because it was an acoustic tour, you know? Aye, aye. There was no band the first time. Aye. And I'm like, fucking hell. Aye, so did so you did have it, to it, come back to Perth and get yourself a band at that point? Then? Well, I had a band. I was, I was playing with Gavin Monroe was in the band, aye. God rest him as well. My brother Neely and Brick oh, Cycler. And it was great fun. It was, it was it was insane, but it was good fun. So talking about insane, uh, and you've got a. It's not that your family's insane because I've got friends amongst your family. I can't say that, but you have a real musical uh, connection through your family with this part of the world. Aye. Uh, particularly Andy M. Stewart. Yeah. Was that all got kicking off at the time that you were, Aye, you were well, playing a lot with Andy? Yeah, Andy was no. I never played with Andy, but. <laughs> No music, anyway. <laughs> God rest his soul again. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I miss the ones him so that much. Missing. Honestly, man. And yeah. it's, it's brilliant. His he's, son Donald's doing a great job. Of I know. He's getting, he's getting the archive back. And the again. You introduced me to Donald as well. Brilliant. Is he, and, and still, is he in, in Paris? We should go and Dogs find and out. He's just, on with that. just now, he's, he's getting on great with it. Aye. Um, but he's just back from America because his grandmother died. So that's a sad case. Aye, aye, aye. But yeah. Uh, Hi Andy, we, we were very close. <laughs> we did a lot of good fun. Yes. They were cousins, Phil yeah. cousins, I. Yeah. And we grew up in the same street. Yeah. And he was two, a few years older, much older than me, six yeah. or seven years older than me. So was it him that uh, fired up your your interest in writing songs, do you think, uh, as well? Um, I, was, I loved his music all the time, yeah. but it was a different thing. I could never play. I know, I I and that's it's where impossible. I'm trying. I suppose Even I'm trying. Like, stayed the same street. I'm going round the house. We heard get... the same songs every yeah. night at the fireplace, or aye. you know, because that's what everybody did then. Be lucky if we need guitars or that either. Aye. Aye. And because your aunties and your uncles and great aunties. Auntie, auntie Bell stayed just Auntie like, Bell's shirt, yeah. Doors away. 
Yeah. Oh, so she was, was there, was she? There was all that. Who wrote? On the same street. I've got a story for you, for you about your, your uncle Ian as well, who wrote uh, The Berry Fields of Blair and inspired the whole folk music generation through that. Aye. Well, that, there's a bit of debate about who wrote, but... <laughs> well, I might it's... be able to clear up that, that debate, because I was in Ian's company, and uh, he came along to... to uh, and I, I can post this bit of video, and I should do it sometime, because I was videoing it. Ian was there. Fiona Ritchie, who is uh, Dunkeld ambassador, Scotland's mm -hmm. ambassador to America, lives in Dunkeld, friend of Ian's. Mm -hmm. So she, she came along, and they were about to sing... Uh, his granny's song, uh, uh, The Berry Fields of Blair. Ian reached into his, uh, into his guitar case and produced a manuscript, handed it to Fiona and said, oh, you might be interested in this. Sorry. You can... She's done off. You can, you can sing along anyway. And she says, well, I know the words. She took a look at it and she said, do you know what this is? And it was the original manuscript. Right. manuscript See, I've never seen it. Auntie. But it just, you know... We heard it all the time, so... <laughs> I know, but it was lying it's... in his guitar case. It's a national... Uh, it should be in a museum. He's a national treasure. Ah, he is. I love him. Aye, so he's, he is. He's, a, he's a... Sorry, wait, turn this off. He's a... Uh, and never... He... Aye. As a musician and stuff. Aye, aye. He just he doesn't care. Aye. You know. aye. And I've toured America with him. <laughs> nah, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm hoping to get over there to see him. He's he's he's, at, he's on this side of the world at the moment, so we'll go, maybe he's a great guy, and he's, and he's such a talent. Right. Um, so anyway, get back aye. to uh, your inspiration, and I think I was, was like, honestly, I was going round the houses to get back to to aye, the original well, question: is why my dad, pop music and my dad rock was music? My inspiration. My dad, yeah. my dad, because I was it was music always playing in the house, right? right. So my old man was. Drilling me with Hank Williams. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. He died of a broken heart, son. Yeah. No, he died yeah. of drugs and drink, Dad, but I didn't Aye. care that at the time. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is so cool. I was like six, you know, seven. <laughs> and next door, um, my cousin's uncle moved in. Aye. And he was a young, trendy guy, and it was 1967. Uh -huh. And he was into the Beatles and the Beach Boys and, and stuff. And they were coming through Perth at that, that time. That was, they were Those just guys. really happening in Britain yeah. at that time. So then we got obsessed with the Beach Boys. So it was the tennis rackets and the yeah. movers. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like nine, yeah. if you yeah. can. And because there was that many of us, we had to form a massive band. Right. So it was that, obsessed with Beach Boys. We never got the words right. Right. And then my dad, when I was about um, 11 or something, he went and bought me a guitar because I wanted to learn how to play because, <laughs> to cut a long story short, my dad was pedal fishing one day. That's another the, story. The Tell it. Right, right. Pe right. Go back. What is pearl fishing? Pearl fishing is fishing for mussels to get pearls out of them, and, and freshwater ones. Aye. And there was uh, the travelling travelling folk. Well, it, it was. And and a living by that, didn't they? Well, or a lot. They of could they? Do. It was part of their living. You never never got that that much money for it unless you were very good. Uh, my old man was an expert along Aye. with the rest of his family, but Aye. and he is to get the ban under the fishing and all that stuff. Aye. Anyway, yeah, he was pearl fishing one day and he sees this guy in the river and the guy's facing downstream and it's no happening, he's going to get swept away. So my dad, what are you doing? Oh, I saw this guy, Ab Willie Abernethy, who got the famous pearl V. Willie, which isn't Cairn Crosses or was. Anyway, um, my dad took him back to the house and the guy stayed in a tent in our garden for months and he could play banjo and he could play bluegrass music. So he taught me how to play, and it was all like worried man blues and stuff like that. So at school, I was in primary seven, there were 16 lassies and me learning guitar. And it's brutal. And I was super, and it scarred me for life, that's why I didn't sing. Because I understand, would you sing Puff the Magic Dragon, right? Of course you No way. And all the lassies are going and throwing things at me, paper and something like this. And the, the teacher made the bog out of the room, but it was a glass wall, right? Uh, yeah. So they're all standing and giving me the V's and sticking their tongues out. And I'm sitting there trying to say, puff the fucking magic dragon. <laughs> oh, and that was it. I said, I'll never sing again. And I was 11. You were mortified at mm. the age of 11. Uh, wow. It was uh, horrible. Right. So I was, the next time I did it, I was 33. Right. I and sang the... some backing for the band between that, because I was in a band right. called The Relief.
We did all right. And then at that time, it was all of <laughs> Well, <laughs> some folk at the front of the stage. <laughs>
seems to be on the monitor. Back with Kelly. You might have missed that song, Kelly. I had a nice. It was a beauty. Yep. We're back live. Anyway, thanks. And thanks for sticking around. Apologies for the breaking transmission. It was my. Kelly. Uh, we were talking to, to Kelly about the whole industry. Yeah. Did you not think there's a book in it? There has to be probably a couple. Uh, Aye. You watch what you say about certain things. I, well, you just. Because we. we well, we're, a lot of the. Uh, no, just tell the truth. Well, tell what, the, tell I, folks okay. what. It was an era. It was an era way we, we murdered, like, Aye. really. Aye. And nobody really cared. You know Aye. what I mean? Everybody's taking ecstasy and cocaine and things like that. Aye. And it just, Aye. and know, it was all coming. Uh, most folk wanted to throw their guitars away at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Start dancing instead, you know. <laughs> that was soon brought back into your line, you know. It was a, it was a massive party, and you're all youngsters, mm, and all your friends, thing, and everybody that you were meeting and friends were all in the same boat. Hey, well, you're on the same. Ah, Ron Healy for a while when Aye. he before he was famous, and Aye. other guys, but. but Fran was a really nice guy, he's still a nice guy. Yeah. Um, and he was playing at the Twa Tams one night. Um, <laughs> I was doing a sound check and I got in and I started shouting something at him, you know. <laughs> it sounded like something. And he came off and he said, oh, that sounds great, I just want to take the piss. All right. So I got to know one another, we did some things and uh, he used to come up and stay in my, in my house and go to the crack. And then, was it, at the same time as he was getting famous with uh, the first song, they weren't famous, they were just starting. Uh, and I had just signed this deal, and I had this album, and we had to go to Spain because we'd clinched this big thing in Spain. Uh, we were proper agents and proper uh, yeah. things, and every radio station, 36 stations, we had to know every, in the chain, we had to play every one. Yeah. So it was a nightmare. And I, Fucking double debted bus that did 40 miles an hour, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> it was funny to begin with in the summertime, but then when it got to <laughs> December, it was like, whoa. <laughs> but it, it was okay, and we did okay, we did well there. Uh, we got in the charts and stuff. Uh, um, And then we came back to England, but, but it was, was more difficult. Because you know, you're there and then you come back here and you're dealing with Oasis and Blur and ah, yeah, and all that stuff at the same bit, time. Maybe, yeah. And you can't, Aye. you're not going to compete with these dudes, you know? Aye. Because there was loads of shit buttons came up behind them. Yeah. They never. Aye, aye, and they, cut, they caught that wave. They just, it was the only two or three that were any good anyway. You know? Aye. So, but we were kind of involved in all that thing before. We were listening to the same bands as Oasis were before they were, because they're much older. It's all the same kind of influences. Right, so, it's just the wee thing that I'm trying to do just now, but it's more about writing songs and good songs. Right. That's what I really want to do. And just, just get in the studio and get them down. Yeah, I'm really into gigs anyway. It's a well, pointless you're still doing listing. them, you and Mikey. And the, I mean, you need to, to keep your chops. Aye, but, uh, but it's again, like house gigs are easier because right. somebody's right. place to play. Aye. You know, at least you've appreciated that thing. Ah, yeah, that's yeah, right. It's, that's that's a it's a very difficult for... banging your head away, you know. Ah, no, it's a good level for, for, for uh, as a listening room thing, and there, ah, there's a depth of them it's as much well. Better. I did these in America with Ian, ah. and it was brilliant, because ah. he ca ca caps as an audience, so. Ah. Okay, we got, right. uh, we're on, we are live here in the Moose, we're at the Tulloch Institute in Perth. We're talking to one of Perth's worthies, well, more than worthy. Uh, Kelly McCormack. Uh, we'll maybe find out. Is this a new one, Kelly? Aye. Is that a new guitar? Yeah, it's a new guitar, aye. So you're, you you're meaning business. Club, you're doing, meaning business, my friend. Well, no, no, only no. here once. <laughs> <laughs> I got beat times personally. Know, maybe, yeah, maybe feels like it. Kelly McCormack. Uh, I'll, I'll try What's this. this one? I'll try better this one anyway. And see how it goes. What is it? Yeah, uh, it's just. It's about meeting somebody for the first time and then getting on, and then it's the usual love sick type thing <laughs> where you you know you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs>
starry eye and dignified the shorts of a few The thought brigade I stumble on and The tongue's tied up in my But I'm trying to say I've never left the window one And we find the bridges that we get across We sat down and lit the fire under All the roads and never knew the dust The sun we made me turn the road to mud And we'd slide in the set and so sing Queens all the stuff Time to find a way to reclaim it. Baby gone, be home alone. What can we do? I never let the wind go on. And we find the bridges that we get across. We sat down and lit the fires under all the roads we never knew. Some summer turn the world to mud And we'd slide in the set And some summer Crazy old stuff Wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. That's Kelly McCormack, uh, undiscovered treasure that he is. <laughs> well, <laughs> discovered more than uh, once and then, <laughs> and then abandoned again, <laughs> time after time. Kelly, keep doing it, man. Keep those songs going. I know so many people that are appreciative of your songs. Cool, Rob. Anyway. Thank you for wanting me here today. It's brilliant. It's good I to know, it's really, 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 we'll really we'll class. Beer in a wee while. We'll do that too. Uh, we're moving on into the Institute. The moose is... Uh, here for the weekend, actually, I might go to the uh, to the Sunday social at the Twa Times. But for the moment, we're here. If you're in Perth or have a friend who uh, would like to come and do a wee session and wants his music exposed to, getting on for thirty thousand people now across the whole network. We're broadcasting to nineteen different outlets uh, at the moment. It's a delight to be able to do this. So pop in ping me a message but pop in see us we're actually uh, here for the owls uh, and the day of ska music should be kicking off before two so I should go in and get myself all set, set up for that uh, there is a, a Q, QI is it QI QR code there if you want to contribute uh, to the medicine show please do always a, a joy when there's a uh, there's a little bit of a donation. Uh, otherwise, please share and like. Let people know that you're uh, uh, where we are. Find us on the Moose page. Uh, leave notes on the chat frame, and I'll pick them up later on. And uh, any feedback for Kelly, I'll post that on to him. I know he's not that easy to find. <laughs> <laughs> these days <laughs> staying on the tree <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be back with you'll be back with Grand Cane though, mm. with a batch of songs at some point I just honestly I broke my thumb a couple of weeks ago oh, I had that, and I, yeah. I was in the studio just started doing stuff right. like these songs and a couple other quite a few it was enough for an album yeah and we just, we just started and I closed my hand on the car door and Aye. broke my thumb and broke my finger and I just got this off the other day and it's still 
I can't get. I can't get. You can't get the picking done because the nail's going to come off. All right. So I held this up for a wee bit. All right. But that's the plan. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to Poland in a couple of weeks. Are you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So. Just do you get? Do you take the guitar mm. up and you go? No, nah, it's just got a wee open mic thing. Aye. To crack. Aye. It's hilarious. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> can I've imagine. Ne I've never been to Poland. I want to go oh, at some point. Beautiful. I love it. Warsaw's phenomenal. I know you do. Yeah, you keep telling me. So that's. I think what we'll do. I'll go and see the football in July and then uh, start a wee Polish trivig. So any. Shit, well, absolutely. Any names I'm you there. can give me. I'll, oh, you man. come. That's I'll what come I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you there. Aye. Do the thing. Right, we Absolutely. could do that. We could do that. I'm up for that. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for viewing. We'll be back. I don't know what time. I've got a trailer uh, and I'll take my Harley and we can hang about in that. I wonder if it could pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a better van by that time. I mean. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks again for joining us. Kelly McCormack in the news.